Okay, so this is a continuation of the notes, question four from 9-1709. Um, it says, in 1990, retail sales at bookstores were about 7.4 billion. So let me uh, change this a little bit. Okay, so this is going to become one of our ordered pairs, potentially. Okay, and then it says, um, in 1997, retail stores uh, were about 11.8 billion. Write a linear model uh, for retail sales. Uh, retail sales S in billions. So the nice part is there, it is already um, defined for us. We already have one of our variables at a bookstore from 1990 to 1997. Let T represent time since 1990. So there's our other definition of our variables. So we don't have to do that. Then estimate retail sales at the bookstore for 2012. So what we need to do is we need to take the information out of the, out of the um, words and turn it into information we can use. So 1990, that's when t is 0, so times since 1990. So 0, 7.4, because we want it in billions. And the other one would be, uh, let's see here, what does it say? 1997, so that's 7 and 11.8. So it says, um, write a linear model. So write a linear model just means write the equation of the line. So slope would be 11.8 minus 7.4 over 7 minus 0. Uh, I should have got the calculator out beforehand. Okay. So we have 11.8 minus 7.4. And that's 4.4 over 7. And since there are decimals in the equation, uh, decimals would be acceptable here. So 0.629. Now, just like in the previous problem, that it's in a different movie for 3D, we are given, or we have calculated now the slope. And this would be the y-intercept, since it's when the time or the x value here is 0. So our equation is y equals 0.629t plus 7.4. <clears throat> so there's our first part of our answer. And it says, um, then estimate the retail sales for 2012. Well, 2012 would be when t would be 22. So we want to substitute in. Uh, 0.629 times 22 plus 7.4. So 0 0.629 times 22 plus 7.4 gives us 21.238 billion.